A Journey Through the Sanctuary, Part 8, compiled by Shirley Street, read by Wayne T. Street. Steps in the Christian Experience, Justification, Sanctification, Perfection. Justification. Our sins are cleansed by the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Sanctification. Sanctification is a daily experience of justification. Perfection. Perfect in God's sight with the cover of Jesus' robe of righteousness. The sinner, having entered the door of the outer court, repentance, places his hands on the head of the innocent sacrifice, confession. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. John chapter 1 verse 9. The altar of burnt offering symbolizes consecration, death to self and sin. Matthew chapter 13, 45 to 46. The labor represents the washing of regeneration, the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Titus chapter 3, verse 5, Exodus 30, 18 to 21. The repentant sinner inside the court, surrounded by the beautiful white linen of the outer court, represents being abiding in Christ, clothed with his righteousness. Romans chapter 3, 24, 2, 4, verse 8. The golden altar of incense contains the sacred fire. The fire represents the sacred fire of love, which must be kindled on the altar of the heart. The incense represents both the prayers of God's people and the merits of Christ's righteousness, and intercession, which are mingled with the prayers. Exodus 30, 1-10, 1 Corinthians 13, Romans 5, verse 5, Revelation 5, verse 8, and 8, 3-4, to Ephesians 5, verse 2. The table of showbread represents the living bread, the word of God. John 6, 26-63, and Exodus 25, 23 to 30. The beautiful golden candlestick represents the sanctifying ministry of the Holy Spirit. Exodus 37 verse 17, Revelation 4 verse 5, 1 Peter 1 verse 2. The experience of perfection was symbolized by the ministry in the most holy place. On the Day of Atonement, the high priest went in before the ark containing the Ten Commandments to blot out the sins of Israel, thus making a final atonement for them. Leviticus 16, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 10, verse 1 to 5. Those who enter by faith into the solemn work of judgment in the most holy place will experience the complete blotting out of all sin from the life and will receive the final baptism of the Holy Ghost, the perfecting latter rain. The holy law of God will be sealed in their hearts. Hebrews 10, 1 to 3, 14 to 22, Acts 3, 19, Joel 2, 5 to 29, and Revelation 7, 2 to 3. The last showers of redeeming grace, the latter rain from the presence of the Lord who ministers in the most holy place will ripen and perfect those who have been sanctified by the daily experience. Thus a people will be made ready for the coming of the Lord. Mark 4, 28 to 29, Revelation 14, 14 to 16.